Valletta is a laid-back, relaxed Caribbean beach town located on the north coast of the Dominican Republic in the Puerto Plata province. The town is situated right along the coastline with its long, spectacular beaches suitable for water sports fans, as well as folks who come here just to relax, unwind and enjoy the vibe of this unique Dominican township. With frequent and direct or relatively short flights from cities in the US and Canada, under normal circumstances it's fairly easy and affordable to get to the DR. The closest airport to Cabaretta is Porta Plata, which is about 15 minutes drive from Cabaretta, or the other alternative is to fly into Santiago de los Caballeros, which is about one and a half hours drive from Cabaretta. If you arrive in Punta Cana or in Santo Domingo airports, you can hire a taxi, rent a car or take one of the larger buses to get to the north coast. The trip will take you about 5 hours. Let's look back into the history how Cabaretta came about. Cabaretta's name first appeared in official documents in 1835. This is when Sefania Kingsley, a slave trader and colonist plantation owner from Florida, purchased the lands located between Sasua and Sabaneta de Yasica. He came here with his young wife, Anna Kingsley, a former African slave and 53 slaves freed from his Florida plantation. The slaves were promised freedom and land in exchange for nine years of service. They came here while the island was under Haitian occupation, and their new estate was called Mayorasco de Coca. Anna Kingsley owned a house in the harbour that stretched out to the sea, and for 20 years this area thrived as the port of Caporetto. Several descendants of the Kingsleys and of the former slaves still live in the area today, and there's actually a book written about Anna Kingsley, the African Princess. Check the link in the description. Cabaretta has one long main street through the heart of its town, with condos, shops and restaurants on both sides. The ocean side is mainly a touristic zone, and on the opposite side, apart from a few shops, there's poorer areas where mainly some of the poorer Dominicans and Haitians live in them, such as La Xenega, Callejón de la Loma and Barrio Blanco. The whole town of Cabaretta is walkable, although there are motor conchos, motorcycle taxis, who are ready to sip you around town if you're in a hurry or you can't be bothered walking. The population of Cabaretta is about 15,000 inhabitants, although you will find a larger town called Sasua just 15 kilometers to the west, with a population of about 50,000. Cabaretta has one larger supermarket called Jeanette's and smaller convenience stores called Colmados, a medical center, some courier companies, dental centers, plenty of souvenir shops, photo shops, sports equipment shops, gyms, a circus school, travel agencies, banks, pastry and coffee shops, car and scooter rental shops, spa and massage salons, and much more. In other words, everything you require to enjoy both a comfortable vacation and when living here.
Even though the town is popular amongst tourists, especially water sports lovers, then you'll also feel this small town vibe with all the expats that live here, where everybody knows everybody. Many of the expats are involved in local volunteer and charity organizations, helping the area's less fortunate residents and helping out with animal rescue. Under normal circumstances, Cabaret is popular with US vacationers as well as Canadian snowbirds. And in the winter season, this town is noticeably busier. So if you do plan to come at that time of the year, it's best to reserve a rental early. The cost of living in Cabaret is quite affordable. A retired couple can live comfortably, plenty of fun and activities for around $2,500 a month, which includes everything. A meal in a restaurant will usually run you under $50 for a couple. And in well-stocked grocery stores, you can get imported products for about the same price as you would pay in the US. And you can get local fresh fruits and vegetables for fairly low prices. There's a wide variety of housing options too, with quite the variant in pricing depending on your desires. You'll find rental homes and condos ranging from $300 right up to $3,000 plus a month. Again, it just depends on what you're after. There are no high-towered resorts or condos in Cabarita as such. So a three to four level apartment complex would be about the highest you'll find in Cabarita, apart from some tall palm trees. There are two large resorts here, Viva Wyndham Tangerine, which opened in 2009, and Lifestyle Holidays Vacation Club, which opened in 2017. The rest of the accommodation choices are mostly between condominium complexes, smaller hotels, and a few villa areas. The beachfront accommodation options are Ocean Dream and Ocean One condos, Harmony Beachfront condos, Ultra Violetta, the Millennium Resort and Spa, Cabaretta Beachfront condos, Cabaretta Townhouse, Punta Goleta Sea Winds, Kite Dream Hotel, Areca Hotel, the Victorian Condos, just to name a few. If you're after private villas, then check out ProCab's residential community in the eastern part of the town. Or check the Costa Azul and Cuentro Coconut Palms communities in the western part of the town. Cabaretta East is represented with a number of beachfront condominium complexes, such as Cabaretta East Condos, Orilla del Mar, Sol Bonito, and Hotel Camino del Sol, situated about two kilometers from the major Cabaretta township. Camino del Sol is an old residential area, a bit run down and underdeveloped, however, it also offers a fairly newly built beachfront accommodation choice. For example, there's Brisas Doradas, Palmas Doradas, and Oasis del Sol. From here, by driving along the coastline Sandy Road, you can access another remote location called La Boca, where the river meets the ocean.
This is a great place for kite boarders to practice their salto tricks. Here you can also arrange to go jet ski racing, have a picnic with your friends, watch the river boats arrive at the final destination that come from Rugama Tours, or you can take a speedboat across the river and try a Dominican fish restaurant called Wilson's, located on the river bank. In Cabrera Township itself, most of the action is usually found on the beach. Did you know that Cabaretta is the longest and the windiest beach in the Dominican Republic? There are five main beaches within five to ten minutes of each other. Encuentro, Kite Beach, Punta Goleta, Bozo, and Cabaretta Central Beach. I'll leave the link in the description to some more details about these beaches. In the early mornings, when there's no wind, you can also do stand-up paddle boarding. Each afternoon the wind picks up and the bay becomes alive with sails and kites. This is a truly spectacular view, known for its strong winds and perfect waves the beaches of Cabrera are attracting kite surfers from all over the world. Nowhere on this island or even in the Caribbean will you find such near perfect conditions for windsurfing, kite boarding and body surfing. The place has about 300 days of perfect conditions for water sports every year. Cabaretta as a tourist destination was first put on the map by the Canadian windsurf enthusiast John Laporte and journalist Tim Hall, who spread the word about this magic spot and soon to become the wind sports mecca. Cabaretta's first kiteboarding school opened in 1999 and today there are many of such schools, especially on Cabaretta's Kite Beach. During the year, Cabaretta usually hosts various world-class water sports events and championships like Masters of the Ocean, Cabaretta Classics, Butterfly Effect, and they welcome athletes and enthusiasts from all over the world. Cabaretta Beach also has an attractive stretch of cozy beach restaurants offering various international cuisines. A nice walk in the evening and dining out can be a treat for those who seek a unique tropical or romantic atmosphere. Usually there's also an active live music scene here too, with talented locals and expats who play acoustic guitar and sing, and you will hear bands performing jazz, rock, country or Dominican typical. And if you like to dance, then there's also venues with salsa and bachata. For karaoke enthusiasts, there are also several venues for this. Just ask the expats and they'll let you know where and when to find them. Usually, every year Cabaretta hosts a large jazz festival on Cabaretta Beach, which attracts large crowds of people from all over the country and abroad. And since not too long ago, they've had their own annual Cabaretta Carnival.
Keep in mind that Cabarita is not all about the beach. Around Cabarita Township, you can also visit one of the most distinguished natural areas on the northern coast, the El Choco National Park. Here you can discover the caves of Cabarita, take a two hour trekking tour with bird watching, or go cave diving if you're into that. Also, you can do horseback riding on the beach or across the national park. You may also consider trying mountain biking or motocrossing with one of the local tour guides. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun doing all of these activities. Whether you choose to stay in Cabaretta short term, long term, or if you choose to retire here, either way, it's worth checking it out. And who knows, you may call this cute little town the place of your dreams in the future.